Hi all, welcome to Soul's Journey, and maybe I should say Ohayou gozaimasu, or konnichiwa, or konbanwa, depending on what time of the day it is where you are in the world, um, or hao ni hao, and that's about the extent of my knowledge of Asian languages. So what I'm doing today is a video of decks created by Asian artists or in the style of Asian art because I have a couple that are I think were done by Anglo artists but in the style of, of Asian art so um, and this is for Asian Pacific American Heritage Month which is May so when I first started thinking about doing this video I thought well I've only got a couple of decks that are Asian and then I started going through my decks and discovered I have a lot more than a couple of decks that are Asian. So I'm going to turn the camera around because I think it's easier to see the cards that way and we will take a look at some of these beautiful decks. Okay so first up is a gem of a deck that I bought from Leonard Narciso, who is also the creator of the Vanessa Tarot and the Tarot de Maria Celia, um, among others. He is an amazingly talented Filipino artist. Um, although he is not Asian American, I'm including decks by Asian artists in general because I think it also helps to spark appreciation for their cultures. So this was one that Lai was selling um, on the Tarot Collectors Forum run by Adam McLean many years ago. Um, I think this must go back to 2010. And this is a self-published deck. It is called the Bagong Sinning, which is Tagalog for Art Nouveau. Um, Tagalog is the native language of the Philippines. So, um, as you can see, it has this beautiful green foil paper inside. This is an interesting deck because, well, for many reasons, but um, as you can see, there's a lot of cards here, although it is a majors only deck. And the thing is, there is a male and female of every card. So here is the male fool. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get the female fool. And here is the male fool. The female magician and the male magician. Ditto High Priestess male high priestess, female empress, male empress, and so the whole deck is is like that. It's got male and female of every of the major arcana. Um, let me just... Uh, I want to show the star because that's always one of my favorite cards in any deck. So... Yeah, just absolutely spectacular art. Um, I do not believe he is still selling these. I'm pretty sure this is long out of print. Uh, the fronts are laminated. The back is just papery. It's got this pretty leaf pattern. He's just, he's just an incredible artist. Um, And along with that deck, Lai included these two little mini decks. And by mini, I mean they are like an inch. I get our ruler here. I'm going to bust them out of the bags. Hang on. So here are the two little mini decks that came along with my copy of the Bagan Sinning. And I have copy 32 of each of them 
I'm pretty sure he only made about a hundred of these. So there is the Taro Parak and the Taro Gigwil. I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't know what those mean. I tried looking them up and I couldn't find anything. But it's a little over an inch and a half wide and just about two and a half inches long. And about the same. I'll just show you a few of the cards in these. Extra cover cards. Same backs as the Bagong Sinning. Very different styles in each deck. Um, very cute. Okay, so next up is the Way of the Panda Tarot by Kimberly M. Son, illustrated by Celia LaBelle. Um, the deck is Kimberly's creation, uh, even though uh, Celia did the artwork, but I'm going to include it for these purposes, since Kimberly is clearly Asian American. So I came with some extra little extra cards. We have the Caffeinated Panda, Dream Space, the Witchy Panda, and the Stargazing Panda. So I'll we'll just take a look at a few of the cards here. Uh, let's see. Oh, always the star. Next up is a deck that I bought used off eBay because at the time it was out of print and it came in this ugly bag with no book um, or box I should say and it is the Ukiyo-e Tarot uh, Floating World. So the book that was done to go with it, the, the little white book. Uh, it says Instructions by Stuart R. Kaplan. It was originally published in 1982, I believe. Um, this says copyright 1983. I believe most of the information on it is was written by Koji Furuta, who I believe is also the artist. Um, okay, so this is, uh, the miners are pips, but um, this is a traditional sword. Um, the wands are actually ceremonial scepters used by Buddhist priests. The coins are like those used in the Edo period, which was circa 1600 to 1868 of Japanese history. The characters on the coins have been modified and now spell the name of the company that prints the Ukiyo-e tarot deck angel playing cards. And then the bowls are, or the cups, um, <coughs> They're hand lacquered wooden bowls used for drinking sake, which is rice wine in past centuries, but now are mainly used in ceremonies, especially marriages. I just, I love this art. I think it's so beautiful. And on to the next. Next up is a deck that is sadly out of print. It came out in 2010. This was uh, an indie publish publication. 
and uh, this is from Indonesia. This is called the Nusantara Tarot. Uh, it was created by a man called Hisyam A. Fatri. And I think there were a couple of other editions put out, um, but he has since let it fall out of publication and I don't believe there's any way to get it anymore. Um, unless, you know, you can find like a used copy on eBay. It is Rider Waite Smith based and even though all the titles, everything is in Bahasa Indonesian, it's really easy to tell what's what. I mean, there's just, it's, like I said, it's totally Rider Waite Smith. So even the miners are very, very easy to tell what's what. But it's just got a real interesting, it's got that Indonesian flavor, the, the art style, and uh, I really like it. I've, it's, I was fortunate enough to get it many years ago when I was on the Tarot L mailing list. I love this card. Um, one of the other members did a group order for people on the list. We paid her, and I think it was Arnell Ando, and um, she ordered all the copies and then forwarded them on to us, and that way we were able to get them uh, at a substantially better price than if we had ordered individually, as you can imagine. There was a, um, a book with it with, that we could either opt to get or not get, but since it was all in Bahasa, Indonesia, um, I, which I've, I do not speak, and uh, I opted not to get the book. So, there's that one. And then I have two copies of the Wheel of Fortune deck, which was done by um, Ivy Fung, I think is how you say her name. I'm not sure. Um, this was a Kickstarter deck, I think, last year. And she did these two different versions. You could get one or the other or both. Um, this one is actually plastic, and you can feel it's really heavy when you hold it. Um, anyway, Ivy is in China. She, I think she's actually in Wuhan. And her latest project was one called the Neo Rider Tarot, in which she offered, um, no, also on Kickstarter, four different versions of the Rider Waite Smith deck and hopefully those will be coming soon. Uh, this one is the smaller, what they call, what she called the mini deck. As you can see it has white borders and no edging. The black one, the standard size, um, came with I thought I had a book. Guess not. Um, so this one's got this black holographic edging, which was super cool. This is paper, and it's got the gold foil on the backs. And then the cards are all the same, except that they have black borders, and they're larger. So, oops. So I am eagerly awaiting the new Neo Rider Tarot from Ivy, which will hopefully be coming shortly. Uh, her original estimate for when the deck would be delivered was May, but of course she's right in the, the thick of things over there in Wuhan, so um, if she's been sending videos, they are in production. And um, hopefully it won't be too much longer before those decks get out to us. And next up I have the Fenestra Tarot. And I've got the, the large kit. It's got, um, came with this reading paper. It's got like the layout in it, which I've never actually used. And I probably wouldn't because, you know, you can only bend it so many times. This is done by a Thai artist uh, named Chatria, 
who lives in Bangkok. And this is a very pretty deck put out by US Games. See there? Very distinctive, unique style. I know a lot of people are going to hate the borders, but I think the colors are so pretty. I really like her style. Very attractive. Whoops. Yeah, there's the backs. I don't know how I did that. Actually, I think I misspoke about Ivy, um, who did the uh, Wheel of Fortune Tarot and the new Neo Rider that I'm waiting for. I think she's in Shenzhen, now that I think about it, not Wuhan. Although, I don't know how far apart Shenzhen and Wuhan are, so could be very close. And, of course, can't forget oops, Stephanie Pui Moonlaws. Shadowscapes Tarot, and I think, I'm not entirely sure, I could be wrong, but I think uh, Stephanie is Chinese-American, uh, of Chinese descent. I still have it in this little box that it came in. And this is a, a Llewellyn deck. Should be readily available still. I know we all have seen these cards. Most of us have this deck. Maybe that's a little too close. But oh my goodness, they're just so beautiful. I just never get tired of looking at them. So pretty. Lovers. Oh my goodness. Just gorgeous. And then I have this rather odd little deck that I found on eBay and like the art. I believe it's somehow connected with Final Fantasy video game. Um, I, I am not a gamer. I have never played Final Fantasy. I know nothing about it. Um, so that is definitely not, was not my motivation for buying the, the deck. And it came with these four little extra cards. I guess if you play the game, you'll know who these people are. I haven't got a clue. But here is, it's just, it's a Majors only deck. And I'm guessing these are all characters in the story, maybe. Uh, I believe it, it came from Japan, it was printed in Japan. But I just, I really like the art. That's most of those. And, okay. and last but not least is the Yoshitaka Amano tarot deck which I believe is also somehow connected with Final Fantasy. Um, it came in this box, with the, the book and card insert. The book is all in Japanese. So I have no idea what it says. Looks like it's got some spreads in it for what that's worth. The cards came in these two wells in plastic bags. Um, and they are very beautiful.
Now this is a full 78 card deck, but the miners are pips. Let's take a look at our star card because I always have to look at the star. I know most people are not going to be interested in those. So that is, uh, I won't get into the, the rest of them here, I don't think. Um, Ace of Cups right on top there. Beautiful artwork. So that is my collection of decks from Asia or done by Asian Americans. And I did order another one, but it is not here yet and may not be here until July, so I chose not to wait to include it. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will talk to you soon. Blessed be.